I'm going to show you something that I just discovered called the German edge. You know how I always slip the first stitch and knit the last stitch backwards? I've been doing that for years and years. But look at this. Look at that edge. It is so beautiful. So I'm going to show you now how to do it. So here we go. And it's really unnatural for me not to slip that stitch. But what we're going to do is knit all the stitches all the way across the row and the last stitch leaving the yarn behind you're going to slip purl wise now when you turn the work around you're going to purl the first stitch and purl all the way across till you get to the end of the row and when you get to that last stitch, leaving the yarn in front, you're going to slip it purlwise. So basically, when you turn the work around, you're pulling this yarn from the back and making a nice thick stitch. So once again, here is what that is going to look like. It's gorgeous. But now if you're doing a socinette stitch, it's probably still going to roll a little bit and you can do this with any stitch really and I think it's a, a great way to make a scarf or blanket um, I love it so something new has been learned by me after all these years of knitting and you know what to do now like me subscribe to me write to me comment and happy knitting everyone <laughs>